Hi everybody, this is Mike and Lori with Hamburg Honey. Um, this hive we've been noticing um, on the front here has had a lot of washboarding going on uh, with new, new workers. Um, I really haven't had a great scientific explanation on why they do it. So we're going to do a little experimenting here with this hive. We're going to get into the hive. And we're going to look around. We can see if there's anything strange going on. I don't think there is. I know they recently made a new queen. Um, and uh, we're going to check for that queen, see how she's laying, if she's doing really well. We will mark her. And uh, marker is one of our 2023 laying queens. Uh, we've got a couple of honey supers on here, and they're all, for the most part, full. They don't have them quite capped yet. Uh, but they are heavy. That one we could actually take the and cut extract. cut comb looks pretty chap, tra If um, we capped. wanted. This is all cut comb. Uh, this looks really good as well. This is nearly ready. Need a little more work on that one. And this is the last one we put in about a week ago. Let's see how they're doing on this one. And looks like they're bringing in some nectar. You can't see it very well, but this frame's probably half full. So they'll be able to fill up and cap this box as well this year too. Get down into the queen excluder here. Start checking our frames of brood. Make sure everything is looking good for us. Now we'll use our frame hanger here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, I would re really recommend getting one. It makes your uh, inspections a lot easier. And uh, you don't have to set your frames on the ground or on the side then. I have done it before. I do do it. I am guilty of it. But you're always taking a chance of losing a queen when you're setting your frames on the ground. So this outside frame should be just pollen and nectar which it is so that's good and when we check this hive last it was getting really full like it was gonna swarm so we took a split out of it put in some new frames they're starting to draw those out Sources, no eggs in this one yet, which is usual for a new queen. She's not going to be able to fill up every single frame right away. Here's the empty queen cells that they tore down once she hatched. So she definitely hatched. Oh, that's never good. Everybody does it, but it makes a mess when you do. This frame is almost completely full of pollen. Be bread. And this is another brand new frame that I put in here, so they should be drying this out fairly well. Oh. Take a look in the cells here, see if there's any eggs. Nothing on this side. Nothing on this side. cup, nothing in it, but I'll get rid of it. Another frame of resources. Should start seeing some brood here pretty quick. Oh, we've been going through this hive and we finally found the queen here. She's right there. It looks like she's been laying for about a week, so some of it is just starting to get capped. 
Um, and then I went through and she's got quite a bit of brood here. So she's doing a really good job. So we'll mark her red as one of our 2023 queens. Got my queen catcher here. And uh, she's see, on this side. Went down on this side, yeah. Oh. And she's gonna travel over to the other side again. She just wants to stay out of the sunlight. You can lay it down too if you want. So there we go. It's always tricky trying to get her into the thing here. I don't want to injure her at all and I don't want to pick her up and grab her because I'm always worried I'm going to injure her that way. So she's on the hive tool here. Oh, she crawled out the top. Did she yeah. fly? No, she's right here on my hand. Let her fly off. And hopefully she'll... Good job. There she is. <laughs> All right, my red marker. Let's see if I... Nope, that's the green one in my pocket. Let me get the red one out again. Here it is. Very carefully push up the plunger. Oh, she's kind of caught on the line. There. There we go. Just get a couple of dots on her thorax here. Then pull the plunger back down so she can walk around for a minute. Set her on the hive here. And uh, this hive is set. I'll just put it back together here real quick while the queen dries and uh, let them keep going about their business. And we didn't really see any signs of why they might be washboarding on the front of this hive either. No, it's, it seems like it's just normal everyday activities inside the hive here. So I have a feeling that it does have to do with uh, the bees getting to a certain age, getting the orientations done on the front of the hive so they can mark it within their mind to be able to find the hive when they start making their foraging flights. So. That'll be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe if you like. If you have any comments or questions, please post them below. Especially we'll get... if you know anything about washboarding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and uh, get out and enjoy your bees.